Hi Capricorn, welcome to your Spirit Guide messages for October. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me. Tons of stuff there, so please do go check that out. This is a new series, so if you do like this, please do let me know, comment. I love to read the comments, and I'll be doing these also monthly. So if you enjoy this, you can also subscribe and hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. You get four readings a month, so don't miss out on that. So we're going to see and take a look here. What does your spirit guides want you to know? What does spirit want you to know for the month of October? So we're just going to get started here. So welcome everybody. Hope everybody's doing well uh, for the month of October coming into fall. Almost Halloween time. Happy early Halloween. Okay, so for Capricorn, what does Spirit want Capricorn to know? Spirit, what do you want to tell Capricorn for the month of October? Now, this isn't going to be like a specific storyline or anything like that. It's going to be different messages. We'll see what I get. And it may or may not resonate with every single person. Every single message may not be for you. So please only take what resonates for you and leave the rest. Okay, for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Jupiter. What messages do we have for Capricorn Spirit, please? Let's tell Capricorn what they need to know. I'm going to pull three from each uh, Oracle deck. And we'll see what we get for Capricorn. That one wanted to stick in my hand. All right, three. Let's get one more. One more for Capricorn please. Thank you. All right. So I think I'm going to pull all the cards first. So I'll show you what we have so far. We have home, shelter, safety, nurturing, warmth. This is the Chakra Insight Oracle. And we have seeing, perspective, truth, knowledge, clarity. And we have the base chakra, one here. And it, you know, I'm just looking at here, and these two are all about the basis and foundation, the base chakra. So the basis is your foundation, um, your security, your stability, and something here maybe involving involving your home for the month of October, shelter, safety, nurturing, warmth. Four is about stability, foundation. So I'll pull some tarot also. So something may be, um, may have to pay attention to something in your home life here with these two cards that came out together. And then we have seeing 37, perspective, truth, knowledge, and clarity. So 37 and that equals 10. Tens are about endings, but then one, a new beginning. And base chakra is one, ones are new beginnings. So there may be something here that you really need to pay attention to in the month of October. Um, you need to look at um, everything and see the perspective of everything going on around you. Um, gain knowledge that you need to know, uh, seeing with truth and clarity. Um, and it may be to have to do something here in your home environment. There may be something that you're not seeing that you need to have truth and clarity on and find something out about um, in your home for some reason. So, all right, so we're gonna pull some tarot on that after. So I think Spirit is telling you here to re really pay attention to things going on in your home environment. If it's your um, friends that visit, if it's you know your family, uh, something could really affect uh, your foundation. There's something maybe that you don't know that you need to see. Um, so we'll get into the tarot. All right, so let's see from the fairy oracle. What messages do you have for... Oh, we got two stuck together here in the top one. All right, so we have financial flow. All right, so I was getting that message... Um, about your home, uh, your family, or your stability. Maybe there's something, um, if you're in a living with somebody or a commitment or a relationship, maybe there's something with your finances that your person's not telling you. 
Maybe they don't want to scare you. Maybe, you know, they have fear or something. Things aren't going so well and they're, I don't know, for some reason afraid to tell you that. And we have sexuality here. So that could be just a message for some. Maybe some of you are lacking sex. I don't know. That chakra. So that is like the root of all things. And one of the basis foundations of the human needs is sex, sex, sexuality. So maybe a message for some. Maybe you're lacking sex. I don't know. So then we have positive expectations. So, you know, this is saying to remain positive, um, hope for the best, faith, hope, and optimism. All right, so let's pull um, three more here. I'm going to put these right in the middle so you can see them. All right, so let's pull three now from this deck. And I'm just noticing here uh, how seeing is all about intuition. Um, I believe that's your third eye chakra, obviously with the eye there. And positive ex expectation, it's all that purple third eye chakra energy so i think you need to listen to your gut your intuition uh see seeing things for what they truly are but i think things will be fine here with positive expectations so maybe that's what uh spirit wants you to know all right so let's see here for capricorn spirit what do you have for capricorn this is the earth magic what do you have for capricorn for october i mean that one stick in new moon promise what else? What else for Capricorn? Dance celebration. This one's sticking out to me. Lake stillness. So we have here promise new moon. So maybe something coming up with the next new moon from whenever you see this. Um, some sort of promise here um, that may be coming into you or a promise you may need to keep with somebody. Um, or something or something like that or making sure that if somebody promised you something that they keep their promise especially with financial flow with these like right next to each other and I know they're different decks so if somebody is promising you like to pay you back or something like that make sure they do don't just let it go um, and then you have dance and celebration here so again you know, being happy, positive, maybe you need to release some energy, um, just to dance and celebrate, go out, have a good time with friends, family. Maybe dancing is something you love to do. You haven't gone out dancing in like forever and you keep saying, you know, I really want to go out and maybe you like to express your sexuality through dance. That's what I'm getting with these two together, whether it's just dancing in general and releasing your sexuality that way or for your partner, whatever here. Uh, maybe, you know, with the base chakra there, maybe it's like re reigniting the passion between you and your partner. And then we have lake here, stillness. So this is reflection. This is being calm, still thinking, reflecting, contemplating, or maybe some of you need to get away uh, to lake near water just to like rest and rejuvenate and retreat and just get some time alone. So I'm feeling here, there's something that you may not be seeing in your home environment that may affect your stability that you really need to pay attention to. And the spirit may be trying to tell you that. And with financial flow, it may have to do something with finances, maybe something that you're not seeing. Uh, whether it's something right inside your home or if it's something with your work, your career, or something in your financial flow may not be right or may be off and maybe you're not really paying attention to that. Um, and blue here, you know, blue does represent, represent the throat chakra. So if you do find something not right, you need to speak up. Or if somebody is promising you something to pay you back, or something like that, or promising to help you, or whatever. Um, you need to speak up on that promise. And then, like I said, with the sexuality and dance here, maybe you just need to go out and express yourself, or maybe this is just something between you and, you and your partner to like spice up the uh, connection again, to bring the uh, found, you know, pa passionate foundation back into the relationship. 
and I think it'll bring you know very happy um, ha you know bring a lot of happiness between the two of you and I think you know spirit here wants you to see that you know I think whatever your expectations are they will be positive whether or not you know things don't seem that way you know if there's stillness here and you're not seeing a positive outcome I think spirits really trying to tell you um, just to stay positive because this positivity will come even through the stillness that you may be in right now um, you will gain truth clarity knowledge on your situations whether it's something like I said in your home with your finances um, between you and your partner you know keep making sure people are keeping up on their promises to you you keep promises to other people as well and if there's something not right you need to speak up whatever that is for you all right so let's um let's get a couple tarot here for the home and the base chakra see what's going on there maybe just a couple spirit please can we clarify for capricorn what's going on thank you is there anything else thank you we got two all right so we have the king of cauldrons which is the king of cups and the ten of swords energy uh ten of swords is a painful ending king of cups is a water sign uh someone you know can be loving nurturing caring and giving so i feel like um A feeling like somebody you love dearly, like I said, this could be a spouse. Um, I think this fear here with the Ten of Swords of some sort of um, fear of something ending um, could be different things for some of you. Yeah, Three of Swords energy. So the Three of Swords can be th third party, but it doesn't have to be. It could be finances. It could be uh, a fear of finances the financial flow not coming in like it used to and this person you know loves you you love them um you know and there's this fear here of you know what if this financial flow stops it ends and um you know the third party just could be the finances something with the finances it doesn't necessarily have to be a person all right so and I think spirit will, will show you the way, um, you know, maybe you just need to, you know, meditate, pray, that sort of thing. So what does spirit want you to see? What does spirit want you to see? What does spirit want Capricorn to see? Nine of shields. So yeah, this is stability, security. So they want you to see here that, you know, things will get stable. There'll be security. I mean, this can represent a single energy. Uh, I don't know for some of you if there's going to be an ending in your home environment, but um, whatever it is here, Spirit is trying to tell you that you'll come out fine in the long run. You'll be stable, sturdy, and grounded, independent, and can take care of yourself. Or it's just telling you that whatever difficulties here um, there are, that things will get more stable. All right, so it may have to do, again, like I said, with finances, you know, and it could be just that third party energy is uh, finances, you know, maybe your person works a lot or you work a lot, um, trying to keep the financial flow going, but stability will come, that's what Spirit wants you to, to know. All right, so let's see, what else, what is the positive expectations about for Capricorn. What is the positive expectations about the Capricorn? So we have um, the Hierophant here. So again, this is being very committed. Um, this is faith, spirituality. Again, like I said, maybe you need to pray or meditate, reconnect with your faith, your spirituality. This is um, doing what's right and just. This is um, doing things by the book structure. And then we have the stars. So this is healing energy, healing, faith, hope, and optimism, and positiveness, and positive expectations. The star, having that faith, hope, optimism for a positive outcome, and healing energy, divinely guided. 
and the Hierophant, both divinely guided energy. So divine is really trying to tell you here that everything will be, there will be positive outcomes. It's just you may not be seeing it and there may be a lot of fear, worry, um, anxiety, that things may just like stop abrupt, abruptly. But um, I think things will be fine and you may not be seeing that right now. All right, so let's see. I was going to say, what is promise about here? Oh, that's way too many. So what is promise about? So we have the Knight of Wands, and we have the Page of Cauldrons. So the Knight of Wands, you know, moving forward very passionately, uh, taking that action, and Page of Cauldrons can be you know, loving communication, it can be apologies, you know. So again, with promise, making sure here with the promise that you keep your promise and people are keeping promises to you. And if not, then take action accordingly. And don't be afraid to uh, be very passionate about that energy. And, you know, could be seeking apologies, getting apologies if people aren't keeping their secrets and you come forward with your passion and your... Um, straightforwardness you know it could be you know loving conversations apologies and that sort of energy so don't be afraid to take action and speak up of people if people are not keeping their promises to you and if you don't keep your promise to somebody then you need to take action accordingly also and apologize and let go of ego there and apologize to this person so let's get dance and sexuality. What is that about? Seven of Pentacles. So, <laughs> wow. So the Seven of Pentacles and the Lovers. So yeah, if things have been kind of bored and stagnant between you and your person, definitely hear soulmate energy, lovers, you know, spicing up the uh, lover area here that's been kind of bored and stagnant by, I don't know, dancing in a sexual way for your person or... Something like that, where you spice it up again. Definitely here, that's the energy I got, and that's what Spirit confirms. So let's see what stillness is about. So we have the Five of Cups. So this is reflecting, you know, this can be sadness, hurt, sorrow. So it could be um, some need to reflect on, maybe there's some sadness, sorrow, or hurt feelings, or something here where you feel very hurt. And maybe you just need take need to take time to deal with it. Stillness here, you know, reflect upon it. Spend quality time alone. Get away. Whatever you need to do to deal with it, heal it, and uh, move forward from it. And as I said that, we have the Knight of Cauldron. So this is moving forward very uh, lovingly, passionately, um, compassionately rather. Um, could also be taking action with apologies coming from a lo very loving, um, sincere place. So I think, you know, dealing with it as, you know, and then moving forward in, uh, in a more peaceful, calm, loving, compassionate place. Once you think, reflect, and heal. She did have the star somewhere here too, which is about healing right here. So, okay, Capricorn, um, I hope you like this, it resonated for you, and those are your spirit messages for... October. And like I said, if you do like my style, how I read, I'll be doing this new reading monthly. And Spirit gave me this idea, so I really hope you like it. And if you do, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you'll be notified, like I said. And you get four readings a month, so please don't miss out on that. Best of luck to you here, and I hope this helps you. And sending you many light, love, and blessings, and always, always shine your light.